advice on buying a ukulele. First of all, this is the most common size that we're all familiar with. From films, movies, cartoons of the past, the small soprano is what has that unique ukulele sound and it used to be the most popular. However, nowadays, the concert is often chosen by new ukulele players. As you can see, it's a little bigger. It still has that unique uke sound and a lot of people claim that it's easier to play because there's more room for their fingers. I feel this personally myself that I can play this one better than this one. However, this is what I started on, so it all depends. Now after the concert is the tenor. As you can see, the tenor is still a little bit bigger. And the tenor is actually what most professional musicians play. A lot of the major names, they all play tenors. I, I like playing the tenor because it matches my vocal range better. And it still has, still has that ukulele sound, but just a little bit lower pitched. After the tenor is the less common baritone. Now the baritone is honestly a little bit more like a small guitar. If you buy the right brand, it still has a little bit of a Hawaiian sound, but most people prefer the concert and the tenor. The baritone is actually good for young kids who want to play guitar. If you have a seven year old, basically five to ten years old, if you have a kid that wants to play guitar, start them on the baritone ukulele. The strings are DGBE, which are the same four top strings as a guitar. Uh, the strings are nylon, so they're easier on the fingers. And uh, as, you, as you can see, it's a, lot more, it's a lot easier for the kid to play this than a huge guitar. So if you have a kid who wants to play guitar, start them on the baritone ukulele. Now, back to some things to look for when you go to buy the uke. I bought this seven years ago. There were two ukes on the wall when I bought this, and nowadays when I go to the same music store, there are 30 to 40 ukes. That is how popular this instrument has become. Back in the day when I was playing it, people laughed, they thought it was funny. Now, everyone wants a uke. It's a great instrument. So if you have the chance to go to a music store and actually handle one, you want to keep an eye out for the bridge, make sure that it's not lifting, you want to check the tuners, make sure that they actually hold their tune. If you don't know how to tune the instrument, ask someone at the store to tune it. However, I advise to take a tuner with you. When you go to buy any musical instrument, take a tuner. They have tuner apps nowadays on the iPhone, and I believe Android too may have some tuning apps. So if you want to keep a little app on your phone, and the reason you want a tuner with you is to check intonation. Intonation is every single note up the fret should be exactly as it should be. If you start with an A, the first fret will be A sharp, B, and as you go up, once you get to the 12th fret, you'll hit A again. If any of those notes are off, do not buy that ukulele. When you have a guitar and the intonation is off, you can take a screwdriver and adjust it to fix those notes, but as you can see the uke, this is glued in place, this bridge, the nut is in place, you can't make any changes to this, so if any notes are off, you're going to be very unhappy with your purchase. So it is essential that you check that intonation. If you're buying online, ask. Ask as many questions as possible. Ask about the tuners, ask about the bridge. Make sure you get as many pictures as possible so you can see the back and make sure there's no separating on the sides, no holes, no cracks. The neck should not be lifting at all. That usually happens with guitars, not ukes, but you never know. And once you buy a uke, once you've decided on one, and pick, let's say, a concert or tin or anything, the first thing to do is to buy proper strings. When a uke is made, the strings that are put on it are factory, really low quality and it makes a huge difference to go buy a pair of strings for 10, 
to twenty dollars, high quality, and make the instrument better. Strings make a stringed instrument. If you go for cheap strings, you will get a cheap and terrible sound. As far as price goes for ukes, this was about one fifty an OU five. It's a very great uke. The tenor here was eighty. I'm very happy with it. The um, this little simple soprano here normally goes for about sixty bucks online, maybe less nowadays. And this baritone was about one ninety. Now I'm not mentioning brand names so much because brand names really aren't as important as you might think. Most ukes nowadays are made in factories on assembly lines and anything made on an assembly line is going to have a statistical chance of having a lemon. So no matter how great a brand name may be, eventually one is going to come out that doesn't sound as good as the rest. For example, I may have gotten lucky with this uke and just got the best one off the, off the line that day. If you have the money and you can afford to buy from local makers, then that is of course the way to go. Someone who built a ukulele from scratch and has a history and good reviews, by all means buy from them. But for those of us who can't afford a ukulele like that, we have to stick with what we find at the music stores. So for a concert, stay between the prices of I'd say 90 and 200, 90 and up. Um, for a baritone, 150 to maybe 300 and a tenor, the same price. Do not go below a certain amount of money. This, when it was 80, it was on sale, otherwise I would not have, would, wouldn't have bought it. If you go below a certain price for the uke, you will get garbage. Um, when it comes to musical instruments, you usually want to stay away from beginner models. You want intermediate. Rare, if, you're, if you're starting out, don't go for advanced yet. Just spend the money on an intermediate and be patient. Don't, don't buy the first cheap thing that comes along. Otherwise, it'll have terrible intonation. It'll sound awful. Don't forget when you're buying an electric uke that the pickup inside is part of the price. So anytime you buy an electric uke, you have to spend even more money. Otherwise, you're not getting as good a quality because you're paying for that pickup in the electronics. So the key points to remember are patience. Even if you forget some of the things I mentioned in this video, when you go to look at a uke, don't rush into buying the first thing that you see. Save your money, have enough to buy a decent model, study reviews, go if you are looking at something online, you know, go and check it out somewhere and see if you can play it and if you like it. Um, talk to those who are knowledgeable about it and just take your time and make sure you make a proper purchase and then once you do, there are plenty of places online to learn how to play the uke. It is a great instrument.